Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the GCC companies who is going to hire more freshers, right? And they are also going to start campus hiring programs. Now, what are these GCC companies and why they are looking for hiring in this particular times period? So we'll be looking in detail. And before that, I would like to tell you about the TopMate platform. So recently we have started a new service on TopMate platform, wherein we will be providing one is to one mentorship to the people, whether they are freshers or experienced, they are looking out for some job opportunities or they are looking for some career related guidance in the software testing. So we will be connecting virtually with them. And this service is available on TopMate. So you can visit this particular link. We'll be providing the link in the comment section of the video as well. So you can book a slot with us and you can connect with us for one is to one mentorship. Right. Now, coming to the topic of this video, what is GCC? So GCC basically stands for Global Capability Centers, right? So uh, the Global Capability Centers are nothing but these are the offshore company, offshore centers, you can say, right? That support the, par the global parent company. So again, the various operations that they handle are IT, customer services, finance, HR, product development. And what we have got this positive news is the global capability centers, the GCCs are tapping into the campus hiring and they would be starting for the campus hiring and they would be looking to the people who are having skill set of cyber security, who will be having some uh, good expertise with respect to AI, right? So these particular GCCs are going to have campus hires. And recently, we also have got this news about National Australia Banks. So this particular bank has gone for a campus hiring program and they nearly visited eight colleges in Delhi NCR region and they have onboarded 60 candidates so far, right? So why, why GCC is looking for hiring at this particular moment and what you can expect? So if you are looking for any kind of a role in the IT industry, then this is also a good opportunity, right? You can see by 2025, India is going to have more than 1,900 centers with a market size touching $60 billion, right? And not only this, but this is a report where all these statistics are being collected. There are currently more than 1500 or you can say 1600 number of gccs in india as of financial year 23 right also not only that but recently now they have also or they are also opening in the tier two cities now now what about gcc centers so now you would be thinking okay which are the global captive centers in india right so let me show you those details also so these are the list of companies basically from the financial domains such as Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Adobe, right? Then Barclays, Western Union, Standard Chartered Bank, Oracle. So currently and many more, these are all the companies or you can say the global captive centers. These are all the organizations that are headquartered in other countries but they have support and tech sectors in India and other Asian countries. So they are going to start campus hiring. And recently what they have seen is actually AI. So with every technology you would see there are pros as well as there are cons, cons, right? So looking at this particular technology such as AI, they are now going into the campuses. They are looking more to hire the people, the freshers, because they have got fresh mindset. They have got more hands-on expertise in technology. They are more stronger technically, right? So they are thinking the freshers would be able to help them with such kind of scams or freshers would be help them to deal with such kind of, uh, you know, threats, security threats, scams that are happening in the, uh, the lives of more of the people day by day. So that's why they are going to hire more people with respect to cybersecurity and with respect to AI. So this is one of the update apart from that, on the same lines, we have got the update that the diagnostic intelligence solutions, right? This is a company cleanses that is also planning to recruit more to more 50 to 60 campus hires this year, right? And then Generation Z also made up of made up for 50% of the talent hired at Lowe's India in 2023. So this is also the report. 
And as you can see, Wells Fargo is also banking on young talent for their ability to embrace evolving technology. So Wells Fargo company, then Cleanses, and then Gen Z, all these companies are looking for campus hiring, right? The BFSI sector, you can say, is facing a shortage of cybersecurity professionals due to a skills gap. And this actually is a report that has come in the economic times also. So now it is focusing on first training pressures in AI and machine learning, and then they will be giving them the full kind of role. So this is actually a positive news that is coming up from the IT industry and especially from BFSI sector, right? So this is actually a good news. If you are looking to make your career in the IT fields or in the finance sectors, then definitely you should learn cybersecurity. You should learn AI, machine learning, because using these particular tools, you would be able to help these kind of banks generate more kind of security and generate more kind of uh, good secured systems so that they don't get impacted due to the scams that are happening recently if you will see a lot of scams are happening in the industries right some at every one minute some people are getting fooled by paying some random amount of money to anyone right so what is happening the people are suffering from scams the people are suffering from losses and that's why these particular sector, the BFSI sector, the GCC companies, the centers are looking for forward to hire cybersecurity professionals, right? So this is actually a very good news that we have got from the GCC company, right? And apart from that, so these GCCs are also, you know, expanding. So if you will see, first of all, when they started in India, they were only based out in tier one cities, right? Now, currently, GCCs have also started expanding into tier two and tier three cities because based on the portfolios and they want to reach out to the more of the talent pool at lower cost. So now they have, they are increasing day by day. So if you will see in tier one cities such as mumbai pune and bangalore 18 gccs were set up in the first half of 2023 however for the first time tier two and tier three cities such as ahmedabad mysuru Vadodara, nashik coimbatore also emerged as key hubs for the expansion of the established gccs so gccs got started in the tier two as well as in tier three cities right and not only that but if you will see multinational uh units such as General Electric, Texas Instruments, Citigroup, American Express, right? They have now also started their centers and India actually has emerged as a hotspot for GCCs as companies are looking forward to drive the business from here. So definitely it is going to boost a lot of job opportunities. And as I mentioned to you, if you are good in cybersecurity, if you are good in machine learning, then definitely you can tap into these particular technologies and you can get jobs as well, right? So during the first half of 2023, at least five GCCs expanded into tier two cities. For example, Metso, a sustainable energy company recently extended its operation to Vadodara, right? And other cities also like Nashik and Coimbatore. So a lot of good job opportunities are expected to come from GCCs and recently they will be going into the campus hiring as well so as i showed you in the video one or two companies have already started with the campus hiring and now other companies will also be going for the campus hiring so they will be scheduling soon such as wells fargo company then the other bfsi sector companies they will be going for this particular hiring so that's a positive news so that we wanted to share with you thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates